this video i'll discuss the topic called computer language first of all we need to understand what is a language language is basically way or mode of communication so when two entities wants to talk to each other or want to communicate communication here means to understand each other's words or intentions so in this case language is the mode of communication so when we talk about computer language so here we have a computer at one end and the programmer on the other end so we have a programmer and a computer so now in this case programmer knows natural languages like english any language and computer is a separate entity now here motive is to communicate with each other like whatever the programmer wants computer should understand and the what is the whatever is the outcome programmer must be able to understand so hame ek medium chahiye ek way of communication chahiye to hum ek language develop karte hain usko hum bolte hain computer language now we wants to talk to computer so we need to understand that computer is an electronic machine and it understands zero and one and how it understands zeros and one i have already explained in one of my video and here one means current flow current on zero means current is off so in that case chip may we will store zeros and ones and programmer here may knows english hindi punjabi french any language so in this case this particular language that is called binary there is only one way that the programmer one method is programmer should learn binary language other method is programmer can write in its own language and computer can understand this so on this scenario kaise kaise develop hua the very first thing is machine language machine language used hoti thi for communication between the computer and the programmer in that case programmer ne learn kiya computer ki language ko and whatever the programmer wants to write wo usko convert karta tha binary mein zeros one mein aur computer ko input dete the zero one mein aur computer output bhi zero one mein deta tha to fir programmer usko convert karta tha apne form mein like decimal mein so isme bahut zyada problem aa rahi thi because is long series of zeros and ones mein there is chances of error and understand karna aur usko learn karna was very tedious so the second thing i assembly language assembly language kya hai in this case the programmer is not learning the binary the programmer is learning an intermediate language assembly language or we have a third third we would say third person or translator usko hum bolte hain assembler assembler is not a person assembler is a code This is software code. Now the programmer will tell assembler in assembly language. Assembler will convert it into zeros and ones, and out output will be in zeros and one, and then assembler will convert it into a, again assembly. So it is in hexadecimal basically. Third is, now assembly language means very limited capabilities. Thi, and it was not very difficult. Tha. So we have moved to high level languages. high level languages is like more like english level language so with the advancement we are moving away from computer and we are moving towards the programmer so ab kya hai programmer apni language mein baat karega aur hamare paas yahan pe jo converter hai usko hum bolte hain compiler compiler will convert this particular code into machine level language and an output again will convert into high level language by this way we are talking to a computer and before learning any language it is more like learning an english language because it is having its own rules and we will see in the detail of this particular lecture with the help of notes now first of all computer language what is language language is mode of communication computer understands only machine language so to perform task from computer we use programming language to write programs 
each language has its own rules called syntax rules and then program is converted to machine language by using compiler or interpreter like har language ke apne rules hote hain jaise har ek language ki grammar hoti hai similarly har computer language ke apne rules hote hain so to agar hum high level mein likhte hain kisi aur language mein likhte hain to compiler or interpreter or assembler se hum convert karte hain usko machine level language mein because computer understands only machine language so broadly we can classify the programming languages into three categories machine level language assembly language and high level languages in case of machine level language a machine can understand this language directly this language is called binary language it is only two digit language zeros and ones and the programs written in the machine level language are executed very fast why they are very fast because we are talking in computer's language so computer just understand this language very easily so execution will be very fast but it is difficult to read and understand because programming ke liye difficult hai zeros and ones mein baat karna so only developers and experienced programmers can use this language jo hamare paas develop ki hai jisne language aur jo bahut experienced programmers hai sirf wo hi isko use kar sakte hain koi layman person isko understand nahi kar sakta due to various disadvantages in machine language so we have moved to the second language that is called assembly language in assembly language programs can be written in alphanumeric symbols instead of zeros and ones we yahan pe humne kya bana liye symbols bana liye rather than zeros and ones for example i can write sum a comma b that means we need to add a and b and this is one alphanumeric symbol and it is easy to remember as compared to zeros and ones in symbols ko hum bol dete hain mnemonics aur inko understand karna aur write karna easy hai so programs written in such language is called assembly language programs unko assembly language programs kehte hain advantage kya hai is language ki ki execution faster hai and disadvantage is ki language difficult hai still रिमेंबर करना और टाइम कंज्यूमिंग है सेकेंड इसकी डिसएडवांटेज है ये हार्डवेयर डिपेंडेंट है हार्डवेयर डिपेंडेंट का मतलब क्या है एवरी पर्सन एवरी मशीन विल हैव अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इमोनिक्स और हमें हर मशीन के इमोनिक्स को लर्न करना पड़ेगा और पोर्टेबिलिटी नहीं होती है सो दिस मशीन दिस लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम्स आर नॉट पोर्टेबल सो पोर्टेबिलिटी नॉट अवेलेबल so that is the main drawbacks and the next is the high level language high level language is today's languages in this case instruction jo hai wo high level wo instruction likhi jati hai high level language mein aur ye statements jo hum likhte hain wo very closer to english language aur mathematical statements jo hamari language hai uske bahut close aa jate hain aur ye independent hai computer architecture se aur learn karna bhi easy hai aur ye portable portability support karte hain and now in upcoming videos we will learn one high level language called c language and we will learn all the syntax and semantics of language and and we will learn how to write programs in that thank you for watching the video please download the notes and if you have any doubt please type in the comment section thank you so much